And as you said, once I get to the station, first thing, RTN sees the firearm at the scene, which you should have done, not to take for clear the weapon. You got to take the firearm away from him and you got to make sure that it is safe. When you get to the station, that firearm should have been large. He should have been made to produce a license if he has a license and the firearm large because the, the victim is saying that the weapon, that firearm was used to assault him. So that is exhibit right away. It's large. They are injured, so therefore hospital. The one man says that he spent about 24 hours in hospital, so he's there. Critic, who the man alleged assaulted him, he injured too. So you can't keep him in custody. You take him to the hospital as well. He says, I'm not sure, but senior police officers are aware. That is why they call the search off on the day policemen were heading into Buxton. They call the search off. Now, there should be an investigation to find out who called the search off. And so I'm saying that don't worry with this wanted bulletin. The police is going to do, corrupt senior members of the Guyana police force will do whatever necessary to cover up what is happening here. Because it is said that these chaps who are supposedly wanted by the police are connected. Because they put in a man in the trunk is a problem. But Marshall Manning time, everybody, they ain't trunk, and if they drink your rum, two people, they hang out the foot, if you're going to walk, the man throw you in a trunk, and you're driving going. But I ain't has to carry the man that he has to in the trunk. There's a problem. Eh? Are you relaxing on yourself, yeah? You lash me in me head. Why right, you say, sit down next to my partner, it's trunk for your scunt. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. President Irfan Ali appears set to appoint acting police commissioner Clifton Hicken substantively to the top position in the police force, despite the opposition leader still withholding his support. In a letter to the opposition leader, Aubrey Norton on Wednesday, Minister of Governance and Parliamentary Affairs, Gail Teixer noted that the opposition leader's decision not to support the appointment of Clifton Hicken as commissioner of police is unfortunate. Teixer said in the circumstances and having considered the contentions raised by the opposition leader, and upon weighing those against the accomplishments of Mr. Hayton. The president has concluded that that it is in the public's interest and in the interest of national security that Mr. Hayton be appointed to the substantive post of Commissioner of Police. The opposition leader in a previous correspondence to the president through the governance minister had listed a number of issues for his non-support of the substantive appointment of Clifton Hayton as police commissioner. Among those were concerns about his command of police officers at Linden when the police opened fire with live rounds on a group of protesters, killing three of them. The opposition leader also raised concerns about financial improprieties within the Guyana police force, the police shooting death of East Coast Demerara youth Quinlan Backus, and allegations of corruption within the hierarchy of the police force. In response, Tixera said all of those concerns have either been addressed or are currently being investigated. About three and a half minutes, uh, sit back and watch what's going on. Those of you who have not seen this yet, here it goes. Please. 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 Yo, no, you're you making you on me. I love your son. Yeah. I love your son. Of course, you're fucking you. What's your name? Hey, my name. Hey, my name. What's your name? Hey, my name. Hey, my name. Hey, my Done, 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 done,
Get up! In the process, yeah, with me. in the process of me here at a mix up, yeah, 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 Turn on the hand. Turn on the hand. Yeah, yeah, we got this goal. This is this goal. This goal. This is this gentleman 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 goal. I got you. I hand it over the goal. No, no, take it, take it. Let me make sure it's, it's what you're giving me. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This is one chain. One chain. Three 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 chain. I keep recording, buddy. Yeah, record, record, you both it. I'm going to take out the picture. I don't want to take that. He's a victim. Let me show you all the second video. That's the first, so then we can make a comment. Second video. Hey, hey. Open your hey. No, let me hand it over to you. All right. Paul, video. I got you. I hand it over the goal. No, no, no. Take it, take it. Let me make sure it's what you're giving me. No, I don't want to do it. This is one chair. All right, this is the second video is basically the same thing. Let me tell you what is being reported here. The, the victim has a video, um, a long video, where he had an interview with Travis Chase. He's saying that he went to the airport and he brought in some of his co cousin or colleagues or something like that. They came in relation to cricket. This incident occurred Sunday night. They went to some bar. And while in the bar... Right? He, they wanted him to drink a beer. He was reluctant at first. But then he, they bought a bucket of beer, he said. And then when um, he decided to drink a beer, but it was no opener. So he went to the barman to get an opener. And while he was coming back with the beer and the opener, he's alleging that this guy known as Guyanese critic, lashing the head with a gun. And they beat him. He said they beat him more. He was beaten by critic mercilessly. Stamp and kick. They get photographs circulating with marks on his face and all this other thing. The story is, account to what we, I'm gleaning from social media, critic went into this bar and somebody lashing in the head with a bottle. Now you can see he had blood and so on all over his face. It would appear that he believed or he assumed that it was this man who lashed him. So he turned on this man and uh, took out the uh, anger. And the, the thing stemmed from the fact, according to what has been reported, that someone, critic, was dancing with some woman in this place. And somebody went to take out a video 
and you rebuke the person, say, oh, you're going to take out video without getting permission and some altercation ensued with someone and this uh, and critic. So then he lashed this man who, from all indication from what the man is saying, that he had no altercation with critic. He was just an innocent person in this bar. Collect the uh, beer, collect the opener, go in and critic. The man said he lashed, he unconscious. He spent about 24 hours or so in hospital. Now, there are so many things when you look at this incident. You see the policeman there receiving gold, a lot of blood and so on. He does not want any gloves or anything like that. Critic, get firearm. Nobody took away the firearm from him. Uh, or you know, again, is the training and the manner in which these matters are handled. Police intervene, yes. But once you intervene, you have to handle these matters in a professional way. The first thing, from the time you see the man get a firearm, he has to hand over the firearm. I tell you, oh, all right, it's all right. The policeman asked him for the, the sergeant asked him for the firearm, and he did not uh, hand over the firearm. The story is, as I've said, I think the man said some station might have been out of town, I'm not sure. They went to the, the victim, they went to the station, they took the victim to the hospital, went to the station, and he said they sent away um, critic and so on. He had to go back. There is a victim had to go back to the station um, at some stage, and you don't know. But let me bring in Mr. Conway to make his comments, and then I'm going to have some other say on this matter. See, see, you saw this video. I'll show you what I've read the report. Yes. What are your views? Are we talking about police action in matters like these? What are your views, my brother? The first instance, I, I would ask, how in heaven's name they get critic a firearm? A character like that, and you see him with a firearm, which is a deadly weapon. Well, going back to the story there, there is a police, I think it's a police sergeant there, and he, he, uh, he tell him, uh, critic, but you got to clear the weapon. Not clear no weapon. You take away the weapon from critics. You take away the weapon from critics. Critics get injured. The other man get injured. They either went to the police station. The first thing that you have to make a report, you, you carry them to the police station. You, uh, you, you carry them to the hospital so that they can get medi med 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 medical treatment. And if, if, if critic wasn't hospitalized or or, 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 or or his injury wasn't of a serious nature, you, you, you keep him at the police station and you need enough, enough evidence there to charge you like a man with a gun. Yeah? With a gun, gun, gun. Gun isn't designed to lash people in, 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 the, in the face. He lash a man with a gun. He should have by now been asked to state reason why his firearm shouldn't be revoked? Why his firearm shouldn't be revoked? He just say why his firearm shouldn't be revoked. Now, and the, the police action, you know, is I, I don't know what the police. If 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 they are they are afraid of critic, take where critic blasted gun, take it where the scene. You have you have the authority because the allegation is that he lashed a man and you saw injury on the man, consistent with a little bit with a bit with a bit of lash, yeah. And, and, and you tell him, boy, you must clear your gun. Take away the bloody gun from him. And I say, uh, in, in my opinion, how in heaven's name you could give a, a person, uh, like I can't say a man, a person like critic, if, 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 if I am, perhaps he must pay 1.5 and, and get the firearm. But the police action is peaceful. Yeah, you know, several things too. There are several other things to consider. This bar that they're talking about, how come people going into this bar with firearm? How come they don't have any security? You have a bar which is crowded and you're allowing people to go in there with firearm to, to, to be imbibing. People going into a bar with firearm to be imbibing. And as I've said, as, as Mr. Connery said, once this matter was reported there and the police, well, not reported, the police got involved to see what's going on. Station. How come critic get this the chain that he's handing over or the chains i understand belong to the man because the man is claiming that critic snatched the chain them from half his neck but he in the tape you can hear him saying that he um during the source of some melee three chains end up in the hand and he's handing over the chain um to the police and all that. this is poor police action first of all sergeant you need to make sure that you understand when you're dealing with um things like would have body fluid blood and all this stuff. Yeah, put them thing in your hand. 
critic bleeding and he get a chain in the hand and he hand in you where traces or even blood might be in the, in the thing no you have got to protect yourself people got to understand policemen have to protect yourself if you're going to take uh possession of the chains like that you got to make sure you get gloves if you got gloves to protect yourself don't accept no chain with blood or that is likely to get blood on it and as you said once i get to the station first thing art you see the fire on the scene which you should have done not to take for clear the weapon you got to take the fire away from him and you got to make sure that it is safe when you get to the station that firearm should have been large he should have been made to produce a license if he has a license and the firearm large because the the victim is saying that the weapon that firearm was used to assault him so that is exhibit right away it's large they are injured so therefore hospital the one man says that he spent about 24 hours in hospital so he's there critic who the man alleged assaulted him he injured too so you can't keep him in custody you take him to the hospital as well to receive medical attention if he is discharged is back to the station and depending on the nature of the injuries you might decide all right you don't want to keep an injured person in the uh, police station which is fine but put him on bail you got to put him on bail to come back at some particular time where you follow up on the investigation in the meanwhile that firearm is lodged in the police station that is how a proper police investigation should have um commenced in this matter the gun lodged at the station critic and bail and then you start to get statement because obviously there were several witnesses at the place you investigate is there uh, are there cctv cameras at the place you do a proper investigation all the time the firearm is at the um station lodge and when you satisfy yourself that critic acted inappropriate if indeed he did then you show him that this is at the commander's level you give a nice love letter as i used to do for him to show cause why the firearm license should not be revoked having regards to xyz what he did why the firearm license should not be revoked and in the meanwhile it is kept there what could happen now if they were to do that you gotta receive a call the sergeant or the commander got a call to tell them to give back the man the gun and i know about that because you remember in 2003 god judge called me when i was commander bobby's to tell me to give back the man the gun. I tell you no no gun and returning to um the, the person like that when the investigation has not reached that stage but somehow like these officers and you know balls they don't have testicles right and that is the problem somebody can call in in the case that i refer the thing that was the minister of affairs called me the president jack deal got involved in the matter i tell him commissioner at the time Floyd mcdonald got involved i said no i'm doing what is the correct thing what the fuck is up in the trunk Eh? What's the special thing about a trunk? Because I put in a man in the trunk is a problem. But Marshall Manny time, everybody, they ain't trunk, and if they drink your rum, two people, they hang out the foot, if you're going to walk, the man throw you in a trunk and you're driving going. But I have to carry the man that he has to in the trunk. There's a problem. Eh? Are you relaxed on yourself, yeah? You lash me in me head. Why like you say, sit down next to my partner. It's trunk for your scunt. If they put a video, when the, 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 the when the police carry to the state, is the trunk they put in? Yeah, let's see the video when they put in the trunk. Is the trunk he went to the station in? Yeah, actually, ever make things out there. Yeah, what happened now? The perception that people have and how things are used in a court of law is two different things, you know. It's not one and the same, it's two different things. Like me, I don't play denial. I just explain me side of the story. And I get a reason for why I do what I do. I tell y'all what I do. Yeah, sir. So here what people expect yesterday. I tell you what happened, what transpired, and why put in me statement. Yes, sir. Because if I go into court, in a court of law, what I could tell y'all that I'm going to say different anything. Brian Passard has to say 
how he gets his injuries and I'm saying he fall on the face. I run to my car. I'm going to send some pictures to me with the car bent up. It's Brian Passat, do though. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah. Sorry for you, I'm telling you that everything is alright and... Hi, good man. Uh, hey, look crap, that's just get uh, more. Right now. Instead of throwing the man in the trunk, why didn't throw the man between your foot? Uh, the old man in between your foot, that would be better. Probably is that she the one. Who does this lady put Nah, nah, she ain't no, she ain't no, she ain't no. Don't, don't beat you up. Is that everybody speculating? All of these is judges and liars and doctors upon this life, and they know one's gone. Okay, Safe. Okay. No vibes, no vibes. Yeah, beat up them. But as the issues come up, you got to deal with it. Yeah, sir. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, it, it, technical, you know, it's real technical, a lot of people don't know what it's be talking about. Now, everybody talking. it. Brian Passard, Brian Passard. You know the only thing Brian Passard didn't explain is how I get like him here. Brian Passard said he walk him in the bar with a bottle. He walk with the bottle. Right? He walk in cover the bottle. The only thing nobody in know him Brian Passard proves how I get like him here. Plus, plus nobody in know in Brian Passard proves how he get lash. Because they ain't got no statement for that. They ain't got no witness. All the witnesses for Brian Passard say that the CIA draw and put back in the ways. The only body here lash is Brian Passard. You understand? No. He was saying Brian Passard went and professed his innocence yesterday and alive with Travis Chase. What he has to explain yeah. is yeah, the sun name here. Somebody said put down the glasses. What he has to explain is why or how did he lash a man with battling his head on August the 4th? Did he ever do anything like that before? You understand? Did he ever do because he come Brian Passard never do nothing in your life yet. Brian Passard is an innocent man who been drinking there with the cousin. But one with he, he take a money. He take a money. So the Brian Passat's sister cost an opportunity because they share me post. Right? But it's true. But remember, I don't Brian Passat take the people their money. But we didn't realize. I got all the time, money, and energy. I just live for them thing this. You understand? When I start digging up one after the other. Plus we might be Yeah bro. Yeah, returning on my scale. Here, here. You like yeah. Well here I tell you. You know I noticed the people that come here for you. It's just it's the many members of the Hungry Bell Association in Guyana. It's only they can come for you. Roger that. Safe. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm calling for this cable. My granddaughter to school up. She is 13 year old. She has got school. She to school. Well, we care for the health center. Health center now work. Here, then tell me care. Which she health center? Um. Uh, uh, Queenstown Health Center. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, we, they have a care them said on our work. And they said we take she and care she for the hospital. Uh, we take she and care she this morning for the hospital. Then well, this is what happened. Now, Brian Passard's story different from me story plus the people he witnesses story. He witnesses and me saying the same thing. The only body story different. But you know, yesterday, Brian Passard with Travis Jay's story. Brian, take a bread. Because he can't help himself. When I talk with him, I realize, get on to he. A man give you a blight and he, and tell you what for say. Tell you what for say. Yes, sir. Well, here what now. As Guyanese critic, I might tell you all, in the past, in my twenties and thirties and all, I think, no? as a renegade. I tell you all my story already. I tell everybody my story. As guy in his critic, you can't find a poor man, 
or any man that could say except it's like a Brian Passard who trying to represent himself because he got to represent himself how he explain this right he got to make some accusation but you can't find a man to say yo critic bully as Guyanese critic I changed my whole life and modus operandi yeah sir you hear what I'm telling you I don't go about trampling on people's rights. So Brian Patsar can't find nobody more. But within a day, I got four reports yesterday. When he go and do the thing, four people call me. And the family call him, people are cussing them out now. If they share me live and they do anything, call him. Where am I now? I go into the Bible and I can do just like the man. Even now, the Bible is frightening. I go and get their money for the story. You understand? I go in. Boris, everybody got a story about Brian Passat. The Brian Passat critic who, who beat you. Brian Passat. So, here. Plus, the guy got a record. Remember once you reported the station? The police got a record of your behavior, your modus operandi. Yes, We go to court. You got to be like smelly, smell. Uh, watch me, my mama came here yesterday and gave me a long, long lecture about talking about the girl and, 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 and done it with them people. But I try to think how he has done with them. I... If you got a nice house with a nice garden, every minute fucking scratchy dog passing in a bunch of places, but you got, you got to run them out. Somebody said they have a record too. What record I got by? Not me, me got no record. My three old son fell down and I took him to hospital. Record or record? And then there's a big thing with he in the trunk. Fuck, I put in you, boy. You just bust me head. Why put in you? I hugging you up on eh? it. Fucking trunk, you got go. There's a crime. Yes, everyone bear shipping is. You sit down, mash them. I got a chair and all in car trunk. Everybody eating. Yes, eh? you put all your value every in car trunk. Kidnap you for what? Mean part of the kidnapping gang. The broke up. Kidnap he? Me alone kidnapping he? Yeah, I got me down, sir. A mother of two from Good Hope on the east coast of Demerara died on Monday as a result of multiple injuries sustained in an early Sunday morning accident along the Laban Intention Railway embankment. The dead woman has been identified as Salma Hiralol. She was the passenger in a minivan being driven by her husband, Prakash Hiralol, when an SUV slammed into them, pitching their vehicle into a concrete culvert. The driver of the other vehicle has been identified as a relative of a senior government official. His name has been given as Marshall Alicott. According to his statement provided to the police by Prakash Hiralol, he was driving his minivan with his wife as the lone passenger along the LBI railway embankment roadway at around 6.30 on Sunday morning. He said as he drove across an intersection along the roadway, a speeding black motor car slammed directly into his vehicle, sending it spinning out of control and into the concrete culvert. The man said he could hear his wife crying out for pain and after he made his way out of the vehicle to assist his wife, they were both assisted by public-spirited citizens who rushed them to the Georgetown Hospital. Mr. Hiralal told the police that because of his wife's more serious injuries, she was rushed into emergency care while he was forced to seek medical care at a private hospital because of the wait time. The man said he sustained a broken arm among other injuries and it was early on Monday morning that the family was informed that his wife had passed away while receiving emergency medical attention. The Guyana police force is still to release an official statement on the fatal accident as the investigations continue. President Irfan Ali yesterday morning met with the executive management and chair of the board of directors of Guyana Water Incorporated to emphasize the importance of service delivery. A release from the office of the president said that he instructed GWI to actively engage with communities and improve communication regarding planned maintenance, service disruptions, and improvement plans.
The president also reminded GWI management about the deadlines for key projects and infrastructure delivery to further boost the water sector. The, the High Court last Friday ordered that businessmen on Tales and Troy Phillips to repay their investors and from all grams of cocaine at the apartment building in excess of $83 Junction, million dollars for failing to uphold their end of the bargain According in a business deal. According to police reports the released on Wednesday, the High Court last Friday ordered that businessmen on Teal Perra and Troy Phillips to repay their investors from all grams of cocaine at the apartment building in excess of $83 million dollars for failing to uphold their end of the bargain in a business deal. Along with various High Court last Friday ordered that businessmen on Police Perra discovered a Troy Phillips to repay their the investors. Seems. Jamal Shamsdain's hidden under the mattress. They also found a white paper wrap parcel that contained their end of several the small white rock like the substances, Shamsudi, which the high are court suspected last Friday to be cocaine. That the drugs were weighed, revealing Troy one thousand two hundred and fifty-five grams of cannabis and eight grams of cocaine. In excess of eight grams of cocaine. Ranks are continuing their investigations, questioning individuals connected to the apartment. The Shamsudi, the high court last. Almost a week since a Georgetown man, Joshua David, was snatched and abducted from outside a Main Street restaurant. Searches are ongoing by the Guyana police force for him. So far, police investigators have carried out searches in a number of areas across Georgetown and the east coast of Demerara, but have come up empty-handed. Meanwhile, two of the six men that wanted bulletins have been issued for in connection with the man's abduction have surrendered to law enforcement. Initially, the police issued a wanted bulletin for five persons in connection with the crime, but on Tuesday, another suspect was added to the wanted list, as the force also reported that two of the suspects turned themselves in. The abduction was caught on cameras in the area. The police are checking on footage from other cameras in the area, with the hope of getting more details on the identity of all of those involved in the abduction and where they may have taken the man. Investigators are tight-lipped about the incident, with the Guyana police force being conservative on the information that it has been providing to the media. A motive for the abduction remains unclear. Not alleged ki kidnapping. Not an alleged kidnapping. We saw it. You guys saw it. And so the police now, they have wanted bulletin. Wanted bulletins for these guys. Two have already surrendered to the police. The others are at large. It is not like the police are not familiar with these guys it's not like the police like the police they're not familiar with who these guys are connected to and all these things it's like the police know these guys and it is said that the police know the senior police officers know exactly what transpired senior police officers are said to uh and they have been covering up this whole situation so when they called they got a call they went into buxton According to information, the police, they were able to track the man, the guy that got kidnapped, track his phone all the way to Buxton. So suddenly, how are you going to reach from in front new driving, tilt to Buxton like that and disappear? Disappear! Now, the police, they know exactly what's going on. Hicken probably might be aware. Uh, the crime chief might be aware. I'm not sure if uh, CSA is aware. I'm not sure. But senior police officers are aware. That is why they called the search off on the day policemen were heading into Buxton. They called the search off. Now, there should be an investigation to find out who called the search off. And so I'm saying that don't worry with this wanted bulletin. The police is going to do Corrupt senior members of the Guyana police force will do whatever necessary to cover up what is happening here. Because it is said that these chaps who are supposedly wanted by the police are connected to people who are so-called business people who are connected to senior police officers and have the senior police officers in their pockets. So that's what's happening. So don't expect anything to come out of this, you know, even though, even though, even though, take a look at what we saw. Take a look. It's a short video. <laughs> So broad daylight. You grab a man, put him into your vehicle. According to the video, mind you, 
and drove away with him. Police traced the, the, the kidnapped victim, traced the, the, the phone all the way to Buxton, all the way to Buxton. And then when the police made a move to go into Buxton to search for the young man, a senior police officer called off the search while the policemen were on their way, called the search off. It is said that those very police officers who call the search off are connected to people who are said to be wanted by U.S. law enforcement agencies for drugs, for money laundering, and all manner of things. The police connection to these folks who are wanted. And I'm not saying that these five guys are the ones who are wanted. The police got to know who these guys work for. The police got to know who these guys work for and why they have to protect these guys. So they only put this wanted bulletin out for these chaps only because they are supposed to, they're supposed to be the ones in this video here. When this guy, the kidnapped victim, we saw everything live and direct. And this happened a stone throw away from where Irfan temporarily lives at State House. Take a look again. Kidnapped the guy and that's the end of him. After his phone was detected, the last detection of his phone was in Buxton. Take a listen. Take a listen again, guys. Guyana, right? They love to say one Guyana. Take a listen. Somebody saying those guys don't know Buxton. Well, of course they don't know Buxton. But according to sources, the kidnapped victim was delivered to folks in Buxton. Those are the allegations being leveled. The police got to come out and come clean because the rate in which Guyana is going, read my lips, the rate in which Guyana is going under the corrupt PPP regime, it's not looking good. And the pot is so hot, it is boiling over. They don't want this pot to really boil over. Because people are fed up of this sort of nonsense. People are fed up of the I pass. People are fed up of the corruption. People. No stress. No Your way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you, Mr. C. I thought May was had tendered a resignation huh? from party and politics, but apparently that's not the case. May is, May is on leave and receiving pay. Troy Fraser, you wonder why May is smiling? May is still on the job, on leave and receiving pay. Now May pay alone as a PS. So May running the ministry from home. Right? In this country, and that's mirrored in the youth movement too. They, if you look at the other political forces that are contending against us, it's party, parties that have, can't even put together 
numbers across the board, much less among young people. Uh, they have um, some small gatherings that they magnify through social media, but really when you look at sheer numbers, they, they come nowhere, nowhere near what a PPP. Um, the thing that says is a snitch visa. It is called a snitch visa. It usually means indictments are being pursued. And here this is a post from social media. The S, non-immigrant classification, is generally available to aliens who would otherwise be inadmissible to or deported from the United States. For example, due to criminal convictions or certain problems with immigration status. The statute authorizes the Secretary of Homeland Security to waive the grounds of inadmissibility. The program is particularly useful for witnesses